Are you having problems with the air fuel ratio going rich after a reflash when tuning GM vehicles on the HP Tuners platform? Well, if you are, I'm here to tell you there's a fix. Let's jump in the car and check it out. The rich after reflash issue is common on a number of GM vehicles, and here I'm using a 2013 ZL1 Camaro to demonstrate the problem. I've got my VCM scanner running, and the engine, or the PCM, has just been reflashed. Everything's up to operating temperature. Let's start it and see what happens. In particular, what we're looking for here is our commanded lambda versus our measured lambda. You can see in green our commanded lambda is sitting at 1.0. However, immediately after the reflash, our measured lambda is sitting around about 10 to 12% richer than our target. Now this is the problem with the rich after reflash situation. Now you can see that our measured lambda is moving back towards our target, but the reason for that is that our short term and long term fuel trims have now kicked in, and you can see that our long term fuel trims are currently sitting at negative 15% in order to get us back to our target lambda. So this is the rich after reflash problem and traditionally the way of getting around this has been to give the engine 15 to 20 minutes of idling and what we'll see over that time is that our trims will come back towards zero and we'll end up with our measured air fuel ratio matching our target. Now obviously that's an incredibly time consuming process but as I mentioned there is now a fix for it. Before we go over the fix, I'm going to talk about what actually causes the problem. It's always nice to know what's actually happening in the background. Let's have a look first of all in our scanner, and we can see that I'm scanning a parameter called injector tip temperature. Right now you can see that this is sitting at 81 degrees centigrade. Let's go back to our VCM editor and we'll see why this injector tip temperature parameter is important. If we go to our Fuel General tab in the VCM Editor software, you can see under Injector Control, we have a table called Offset versus Injector Temperature. If we open up this table, we can see we have a two-dimensional table relative to Injector Tip Temperature. Now, the important point is that up to about 45 degrees centigrade, this table is filled with zeros. Essentially, it's having no effect. However, once we get up to the higher temperatures, particularly in the 80 to 95 degree range, which we're quite likely to see with our engine hot, we can see that the numbers are significantly more positive. What this does is it adds to the injector offset value, which essentially holds the injector open longer, delivering more fuel, and resulting in our rich after reflash situation. Now the problem is under normal operating conditions we're unlikely to see our injector tip temperature reach these sort of ranges. There's no sensor for injector tip temperature and instead the PCM calculates this temperature. After we've reflashed the PCM, certain areas of the memory inside the PCM are reset. And factors such as injector tip temperature have to be relearnt from scratch. So when the engine's at a hot operating temperature and we reflash the PCM, the injector tip temperature defaults to the current engine coolant temperature. Once the engine's running, the PCM's algorithm then relearns the injector tip temperature and we'll see that the injector tip temperature over time starts moving back down to a more reasonable value. Under normal running conditions, we could expect our injector tip temperature to be sitting in the range of perhaps 40, 45 degrees centigrade, and as we can see from the table, in this range, we're having no effect from this table. So, the fix for this, to get around our rich after reflash problem, is simply to highlight this entire table and set all of the values to zero. Once we've done this, we can now reflash our PCM, and let's do that and have a look at the results in the scanner. Okay, with our flash complete, let's restart the engine and we'll see the difference. Straight away you can see that our air fuel ratio is almost right on target, even though you can see at the moment our closed loop trims are still sitting at zero. So we don't have any problem with the engine initially going excessively rich. Note that the injector tip temperature is still sitting at 80 degrees centigrade, 
which as we can see matches our current engine coolant temperature. So as you can see zeroing the offset versus injector tip temperature table eliminates that rich after reflash problem. This can literally save hours of wasted dyno time and we need to thank the enthusiasts on the HP Tuners forum who found this table as well as the HP Tuners engineers for incorporating it so quickly. Now if you can't see the offset versus injector tip temperature table in your version of VCM editor, make sure you update to the latest version as soon as possible. If you want to learn more about reflashing GM vehicles using the HP Tuners software, then check out our practical reflash tuning course. It's an online course that you can take from the comfort of your own home. Click the link for more details.